fellow Diamond Painting Addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today with another video in my Stay or Go video series. This is actually the kit that kind of launched this whole video series for me, because periodically as I go through my stash, I look at some of these kits and think, do I really want to do this one? Do I want to keep this one? Do I want to push it aside in favor of something else? What am I going to do? And this is the first one that I really kind of looked at it and thought, maybe I want to let this one go. So we'll see what you guys think. If you think I should keep it or let it go, let me get everything out of the box and we'll take a look at it. This is an older kit, as you can see from the tool kit. So we'll look at that in a minute. We've got the instructions, we've got our stickers, and we've got our drills. This is a square kit, as you can see, but we'll look at those in a minute. So you can see in our tool kit, we get a tray, we get a bunch of baggies that I will likely just recycle. We get our pin and a scrunchie. We get some very sharp pokey tweezers. We get a couple of plates of heart wax and we get a four placer. So that's what comes in the tool kit. I don't need the instructions, so I will likely get rid of those. What kit am I looking at? Today we're looking at The Spirit of Flight by Josephine Wall. So you can see this is, like I said, the Josephine Wall Spirit of Flight. We've got 65 colors here and it looks like there's two ABs. So lots of different colors in here. This is quite a large painting, as you can see. It's 106 by 70, so quite big, as are most Josephine walls. It's this lovely lady with all of the kind of clouds and birds and butterflies, everything that flies, feathers and all of that. I'm sure many of you have seen this painting before. You probably have seen someone else do this painting before. I bought this one just because I wanted to see kind of the difference between doing a Diamond Art Club Josephine Wall and doing a, a Diamond Painting Deutschland Josephine Wall. So I've actually done two Josephine Walls by Diamond Painting Deutschland. I did Diana, which was several years ago, and then just earlier this year in May, I completed the Melody in Pink. Part of what I wanted to see was kind of the difference in the approach to the artwork. I feel like, in my opinion, the Diamond Painting Deutschlands look more like the original artwork of Josephine Wall. Because they have so many colors, my Diana had 250 colors, the Melody in Pink had 275 colors. So it ends up, yes, being a ton of confetti, but I just felt like it looked more like the original artwork but I wanted to try this one. I had seen so many people saying how good it was and how much they enjoyed it, so I went ahead and got this one. But as it has set in my stash, having done the two Josephine Walls from Diamond Painting Deutschland, I just didn't know whether I wanted to keep this one. It's very large. It's a lot of drills. <laughs> yeah, I just can't decide what I want to do. So I'm going to grab the canvas. We'll look at it, and then we'll see what I think. This is a huge canvas, as you can see, so I definitely will be doing some B-roll that I can run so that you guys can see it. But we've got the lovely Spirit of Flight here with her, kind of her face tilted into the wind. And then we've got out in front of her and behind her kind of all these feathers and winged things. There's like over here at the end on this end, there's like a winged fish, it looks like. And then there's all kinds of butterflies down at the bottom some birds, some geese, maybe a hawk out in front of her, some feathers you can see in her hair right here. There's another big bird right here. So it's a diamond art club, so no real concerns about the quality of the canvas itself, the charting, all the symbols look nice and clear on the canvas, the glue is fine, the cover sheet is nice, we've got a schematic on this side and this side, so we've got that. Again, 66 colors with two ABs. So if I look at where the ABs are gonna go, we've got like a very pale yellow AB and a white AB. And I can see already a lot of the white AB is gonna be like highlights here on her face and in her hair and in the clouds, highlights on some of the birds over here, on this bird right here and some of these birds 
the yellow AB is on this. I don't know if that's a goose or a swan. It does look like it's a nice mix of confetti and color blocking. So there's quite a bit of color blocking in the background, but of course all the birds and everything and her hair and all of that, the feathers will be a lot of confetti. And with only two ABs actually coming in the kit, this might be a good kit to add additional ABs into. I don't know if I would do fairy dust drills because those, the fairy dust drills make it look kind of metallic and I don't know if that would be a good look. But some ABs certainly, I think some extra ones with only two in here, maybe. I think the biggest negative for me at this point is the size of it. It's just so stinking big. So it says it's 106 by 70, so let's measure. So I'm getting 105.5 instead of 106 across. This way, I'm getting 69 and a half and not 70. So a little bit off, but not much. Yeah, just in looking at this, I'm a sucker for confetti and there's a lot of confetti all of this with the bird and kind of the clouds out in front of her, the feathers in her hair. Yeah, is a lot of <laughs> confetti in here. So maybe, I don't know. I think maybe it's just of all the Josephine Walls that Diamond Art Club had done, this was the one I thought I would like the most. I considered getting some of her Zodiac series when they had those and just decided, yeah. And I already had the two from Diamond Painting Deutschland, so I didn't want to buy a whole bunch of Josephine Walls, even though I love her artwork. So this is the one I landed on. I gotta admit, it's kind of growing on me as I look at it. It's still super big, and I don't know if I'm up for that right now. Having just done a giant J wall, I mean, this would probably take me an entire month just to do this one painting. But it could be fun, especially if I'm adding in kind of my own ABs and, and doing some things to kind of make it my own. Yeah, looking at it, no fairy dust, no crystals. Maybe, I mean, maybe I could do some crystals. No, I don't think that would look good. I think I would stick with just regular drills and ABs and leave it at that. But I, it might be fun to, to order some more ABs and see. Because this is a square, I don't have as many different colors of ABs and squares as I do everything else. And this might be a fun place to kind of work in some of those darker colors that I don't always have a, a use for the darker ABs. Certainly some 310 ABs I could throw in in kind of the sky, just dot them in here and there. But some purples and greens might be fun as well as some browns. Let me grab the drills and we'll look at those because there's a lot of them. I don't know if I'm ever going to get these back in the package, but we'll see. So we've got like a kind of dull yellow. We've got four bags of a dark gray. We've got kind of a light turquoise and kind of an olivey mustardy yellow. We've got two shades of purple, a darker and a lighter. We've got like a dark watermelon, a dark peach a very dark gray, a purple, kind of a golden yellow, a dark red, a dark turquoise, kind of a dusky pink, a butterscotch, a brick red, kind of a dull watermelon color, another purple, kind of a salmony ochre color, kind of another dull butterscotch, a light brown, it's like an orangey salmon, a tan and a dark purple. We've got a purple, a light blue, a green, another like tan color, a very dark gray, a dark brown. There's our yellow AB, kind of an orangish red, a dark blue, kind of a dark sea green, a blue, a green, kind of a very pale sea green, kind of a lime green, a very dark blue, a butterscotch. We get two bags of the white ABs 
and then two bags of this blue. And we get another very dark gray, a dark green, a purple, a brown, a yellow, a kind of a forest green, a lemony yellow, kind of a royal blue, three bags of this kind of reddish brown, two bags of dark brown, three bags of a slightly lighter reddish brown, a light green, a very, very dark blue, and a gray. In our last sleeve here, we've got two bags of a gray, dove gray, kind of a pale green, three bags of a butterscotch color, two bags of a slightly darker gray, two bags of this brown, two bags of a very dark brown, only one bag of 310, two bags of a dark gray, a dark kind of olivey yellow, and three bags of this kind of in-between gray. So just an absolute ton of drills, as you might expect. The, the drills and the box and everything this came in are heavy because there's just so much of everything. The canvas is big, there's so many drills because the canvas is big. So I don't know, like I said, I, I feel like the size is a negative. I don't know if I would enjoy it as much as I enjoyed my diamond painting Deutschland Josephine walls because it just is gonna look different, I think, than the original image. However, maybe that would be a good experience for me, I don't know. I've never been one to kind of back away from a challenge of something like this, so maybe that's how I should view it, that this is going to be kind of a challenge for me and see it through that lens rather than ugh, another kind of older, oh no. Yeah, if the drills were gappy on this one like they were with my belly dancer, I don't know if I'd make it through. I'd probably push myself to make it through, but I don't know if I would enjoy it. So yeah, I'm undecided about this one. Like I said, it's very, very large. It's a lot of drills. It would be a very large project. I don't know if at the end of it, if I would like it as well as I like the Diamond Painting Deutschlands ones that I did. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Is it worth keeping this one? Should I let it go? I don't believe it's available any longer. I don't think Diamond Art Club has a license with Josephine Wall anymore. So that might be a reason to hang on to it as well, just because this is something I wouldn't be able to replace. But is it worth keeping just because it's something I can't get anymore? That I'm not sure. So like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Keep it, let it go. I'm undecided. Again, this is another one for me. <laughs> and I have several of these, like I said, you've seen, I think this is number eight in the series that I just don't know. If this would be kind of gappy bad drills, especially since there's quite a few dark colors in this one, that might have something to do with it. But that's one of those things that you don't know until you actually start drilling what the experience is gonna be like. And I'm curious to see, I mean, the whole reason in purchasing this, like I said, was to see the difference between this and Diamond Painting Deutschland. So I know other people have done that and I could just watch somebody else's video that's not the same to me as doing it myself and, and seeing what I think. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.